Brother, I have a question for you. <clears throat> sure. How did he do this if he was an illiterate man? He did what? How did he take all these? You, you're saying that he put all these things together. How did he put these things together if he's illiterate? First of all, there is nowhere in the Quran, this is a fiction of Muslims, it says that the, he was illiterate. If you go in the hadith, you will find the following. And as long as you can read Arabic, that will make it easier for me. Okay. Do you see my screen, my friend? Yes. All right. Ibn Abbas said, when Allah Apostle was in the in his deathbed so Muhammad now is dying okay and there there were some men in the house obviously Muslim men he said come come near I will write for you something after which you will not go astray okay and then uh, 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 some of them ie the companions specifically Omar actually he said, Allah Apostle is seriously ill. In fact, doesn't say that, by the way. It says he is, he is going crazy. You know, don't listen to him. When somebody, you know, when a man, he's, he's in the, bed, uh, the, the the deathbed, and he say that, and you say, uh, ignore him, he is seriously ill, which means what? Which means he lost his mind, right? And, yes. and, uh, and he said to them, and you have the Holy Quran, Allah book, is sufficient for us. So the, the, uh, Umar, he's saying to Muhammad, are you stupid or what? We have the Quran is enough for us. Why you want to write a book for us? So here they start they start uh, 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 fighting and look what it says here. Some of them they said give him writing material so he might he, he may write for you something. Do you see it? Yes. If Muhammad do not know how to write they will not give him some material to write. They will say, "What's, what's uh, Prophet? What do you want to say? We are going to write it for you, right?" How did he? Do, where did that story come from, then? Well, this is Sahih Bukhari. This is Sahih Bukhari, and this is Sahih Hadith. Could you give me the number for this? Sure, hadith? no problem. I will show you the reference on the screen, so everybody will see it with you. Sure. Here we go. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 4432, book number 64. Uh, the, oh, by the way, all those numbers, not necessarily they are accurate. This is depend in the when they translate. But anyway, this is how it is here. All right? Okay. Is it showing on the screen for you? Yes. All right. So Muhammad, first of all, he know how to write, how to read. But my friend, sadly, your people are ignorant. I'm not insulting, but I will prove it. You see, if you go in the Quran, you will see the Quran saying it clearly. Who is the one illiterate? The Muslim, why they say Muhammad is illiterate? Because the Quran say he's illiterate. But the Quran never say that illiterate mean do not know how to write, how to read. Have nothing to do. This is a religious book. This is a religious book. It's not about who can write, how can read. It's about who knows the word of God and who do not. So those who knows the word of God, they are called people of the book. Chapter 2, verse number 78. Read with me carefully, my friend. And by the way, Shamsi, if you are watching, call me Abdul, okay? Don't make an excuse. Just text me in the, in the, in, in the Skype, and immediately I will take you. I will apologize from the, from the person who is speaking to me, and I will take you immediately. Customers come first. Shamsi is my customer. Read with me. Uh, <clears throat> And there is uh, among them illiterate who know not the book. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. So what, who is the illiterate in Islam? Is it about writing and reading or it's about not knowing the book? It's about not knowing the book. So why the Muslim, they, they, they don't see it? You know, why they are blind? Just they are copy paste. Nobody, nobody want to think for a second. Where do you get this from? And not only that. You go in the Quran, you will find that the Quran always repeating the same idea. And not only that, the Quran says that the Christians are the people of the book and al ummiyin Read with me carefully. Chapter 3, verse number 20. <clears throat> uh, 
and if they argue with thee, O Muhammad, I have surrendered my purpose to Allah, and so have those who follow me, and say unto those who have received the scriptures, and those who have read not, do you see it? Yes. The read not here is the same word, which is ummiyin, which mean illiterate. This is a translation saying read not, which means they are, uh, you know, but this is not about they cannot read, but those about who don't have a scripture. Do you see what it says here? The Quran, mm -hmm. div the, the Quran divide people to two kinds of people. People who have book, they are called people of the book. And people who they have no book, they are called illiterate. Okay. So Muhammad, he do not know how to read. This is a, this is a this is not.